In the sport of race walking, it's tricky to make the junior to senior transition because the distance doubles from 10 kilometers to 20 kilometers. And I think because of my lack of understanding of health and nutrition, I probably doubled my training load and halved my nutrition. So that led down a slippery slope to a number of challenges, as you can imagine. Up until now, so much of the research was done on men and boys and then directly translated across to females. And so often that doesn't work for us and leaves us frustrated and, and lonely and confused and ultimately contributes to the decline of women and girls in sport. And so when I got closer and closer to a bone stress injury, I knew that I needed to do something about it and I connected with an incredible sports dietitian and she slowly started teaching me about the importance of sound nutrition, about managing your training loads. So we periodize our training. We tend to do three weeks hard followed by one week easy. So you have little breaks every now and then and tailor that to the menstrual cycle and try and be confident to speak about that sort of thing with a male coach. We periodize our nutrition across a week, across a cycle and across a year to ensure that we're not at risk of bony stress injuries or overuse injuries, but at the same time, we're achieving that optimal body composition for race day. And four years later, very few injuries and some great results.